Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of January 13, 2022. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy technology sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $167.69. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Schlumberger Limited. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of half a percent. You may sell it at a minimum price of $33.63. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0. Chevron Corporation was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $120. The buy put strike price was bought at $124. The buy call strike price was bought at $128. And the sell call strike price was sold at $131. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. Condor Morgan is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $17.21, but we expect a possible sell price of $17.91. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Kinder Morgan. If it is over 1.50% of your stock price trade, this is a new buy suggested vertical put option. On the table, Kinder Morgan has a sell put strike price at $17 and a buy put strike price at $17.5. For this spread option, it will expire on January 14, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0. Valero Energy was a previous suggested butterfly option. The two buy calls strike price were bought at $79 and at $87, and the sell call was sold at $83. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell American International G. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.4%. 
you may sell it at a minimum price of $60.68. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0. Berkshire Hathaway was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $305. The buy put strike price was bought at $307.5. The buy call strike price was bought at $320, and the sell call strike price was sold at $327.5. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. BlackRock was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $885, and the sell call strike price was sold at $895. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. PayPal Holdings was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. PayPal Holdings was a previous suggested vertical put option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Visa Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Visa Incorporated is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.2%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $220.4, but we expect a possible sell price of $220.56. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $210.53, unless is undervalued. Wells Fargo is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $55.14 but we expect a possible sell price of $57.43. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Wells Fargo if it is over 3.00% of your stock price trade. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $263.76. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $162.35. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $1.97. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Moderna Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 10.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $211.99. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.17. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Biogen Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $233.25. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0. Abbott Laboratories was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Abbott Laboratories is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 6.5%.
we suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $138.01. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $129.04, unless is undervalued. Merck Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Merck Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $83. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $80.01 unless is undervalued. Merck Incorporated was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $81, and the sell call strike price was sold at $83. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy waste management. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $159.23. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell General Electric. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $101.56. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0. Boeing Company was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $190. The buy put strike price was bought at $207.5. The buy call strike price was bought at $217.5. And the sell call strike price was sold at $225. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. General Electric was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that General Electric is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 1.1 percent. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $101.31. dollars but we expect a possible buy price of $100.94. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $102.72, unless is overvalued. Material sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy air products chemicals. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $300.99. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Roku Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 9.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $195.52. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Nike Incorporated was a previous suggested vertical call option. 
the buy call strike price was bought at $157.5, and the sell call strike price was sold at $160. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. Starbucks Corporation was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Starbucks Corporation is a very low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of minus 2.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $104.69 but we expect a possible sell price of $105.61. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $102.4, unless is undervalued. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Philip Morris. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.1%. You may sell at a minimum price of $99.07. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0. Colgate Palmolive was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Colgate Palmolive is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $83.1, but we expect a possible sell price of $83.65. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $80.2, unless is undervalued. Colgate Palmolive was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $84, and the sell call strike price was sold at $85. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. ST Law Order was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $340, and the sell call strike price was sold at $360. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Broadcom Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 7.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $620.85. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Adobe Systems was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Facebook Incorporated was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $307.5. The buy put strike price was bought at $327.5. The buy call strike price was bought at $335, and the sell call strike price was sold at $350. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, NVIDIA Corporation has a buy call strike price at $270, and a sell call strike price at $285. For this spread option, it will expire on January 14, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, 
Texas Instruments has a sell put strike price at $175, a buy put strike price at $185, a buy call strike price at $195, and a sell call strike price at $197.5. This spread option will expire on January 14, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.85. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Western Digital has a buy call strike price at $66, and a sell call strike price at $69. For this spread option, it will expire on January 14, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0.51. Communication Sector ETF belongs to the Trade Normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell AT&T. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $26.77. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.18. Comcast Corporation was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Comcast Corporation was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $50, and the buy put strike price was bought at $51. We are holding it unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on January 14, 2022. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, T-Mobile US has a sell put strike price at $103, a buy put strike price at $110, a buy call strike price at $116, and a sell call strike price at $120. This spread option will expire on January 14, 2022, and the estimated price is at $0. Utility Sector ETF was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Utility Sector ETF is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $70.45 but we expect a possible sell price of $70.6. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $69.55, unless it's undervalued. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Duke Energy has a sell put strike price at $100, a buy put strike price at $105, a buy call strike price at $102.5, and a sell call strike price at $107.5. This spread option will expire on January 14, 2022, and the estimated price is at $2.5. Bitcoin belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. There is a weak opportunity to buy Chainlink. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 28.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $25.98. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell.
Cardano was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Cardano is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 6.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $1.17. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $1.29, unless it's overvalued. EOS was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that EOS is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $2.7, but we expect a possible buy price of $2.53. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $2.88, unless it's overvalued. Litecoin was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Litecoin is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.9%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $133.93. But we expect a possible buy price of $126.02. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $142.3, unless it's overvalued. Monero was a previous suggested long cryptocurrency. Today, we suggest to sell it. Ripple is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 4.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 17.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $0.7898, but we expect a possible buy price of $0.7103. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Ripple if it is below 1.70% of your stock price trade. Theta token was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Theta token is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 5.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $3.87, but we expect a possible buy price of $3.56. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $4.03, unless it's overvalued. Tron was a previous suggested long cryptocurrency. Today, we suggest to sell it. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.